I tried a new recipe today and it turned out so well that I just had to show you this. It's called Runza and they eat it in Nebraska. I can't believe I've never heard of this stuff. It's real good. Um, I don't, I've never had a, an original Runza so I don't know how this recipe compares to it but this stuff is awesome and it's easy to do and the ingredients are cheap. I made this in my bread maker, but if you don't have one, you could do it by hand. Uh, in fact, the recipe says to do it by hand, but I had other things to do. But what you do is you put four and a half cups of flour, one half cup of sugar, two packages of active dry yeast, and I think I used five teaspoons of yeast, uh, one teaspoon of salt, three quarters cup of milk, half a cup of water, half a cup of shortening, and two eggs. And then I just set it on the dough cycle and let it go. When the dough was done, that bread maker was slammed full to the top, but it all turned out okay. I put the dough on a floured surface and punched it down and let it rest for a few minutes. And while that was going on, I started the meat mixture. I browned uh, one pound of ground beef and two small onions and um, when that was done I added a teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of white pepper. Uh, they claim that white pepper is the secret to this. And then I added four cups of chopped cabbage and cooked it until it was tender. While the meat was cooking, I rolled the dough out thinly and cut it into six inch squares. Then I put some of the meat mixture on the center of the square and then pulled each corner up around the meat and crimped the edges together. Then I put the runza on an ungreased cookie sheet and repeated with the rest of the dough. I ended up with 11 of these runzas. You're supposed to get 12, but I ran out of the meat. Uh, then I covered it and let it rise for about 20 minutes. Then I baked them at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. And here they are. Uh, the bread is very soft and sweet, and the uh, meat mixture isn't bland like you would think it is. It, it has a lot of good taste to it. Uh, it's kind of a, a sweet, kind of slightly salty type of thing. And I'll definitely make these again, and they say that you can freeze these and reheat them. Uh, so that is another bonus. Uh, there you go. Be sure to give it a try. Hope it helps.